Por supuesto que estoy cagado en las patas. Recontra, facho. No estoy dispuesto a ser el boludo nunca más. Argentina 1985 is based on a true story. She was the most important trial in Argentinian history. In between the years of 1976 and 1983, massive human rights violations were committed against the civilian population. In the movie, we see how a public prosecutor, a young lawyer, and their inexperienced legal team there to prosecute the heads of Argentina's bloody military dictatorship that caused also the disappearance of 30,000 people. Now that you got the context, let's continue learning some Argentinian expressions that are from the movie. When the prosecutor receives the order to lead this trial, he says, No quiero ser el boludo al que le piden que ponga la cara. No estoy dispuesto a ser el boludo al que le piden que ponga la cara en algo en lo que nadie del gobierno cree. No quiero ser el boludo. I don't want to be the jerk al que le piden que ponga la cara. That they asked to put his face. You need to understand that people in that time were very afraid. They were just uh, having two years of democracy, like coming back to democracy. So people were super scared. Even he is saying in another part of the, of the movie that he is very afraid. And he says that in, an, I think, the best Argentinian way. Por supuesto que estoy cagado en las patas. Por supuesto que estoy cagado en las patas. Por supuesto. Uh, of course, I... Oh, this is hard to translate. Of course, I shitted on my pants or, or, or on my legs, actually. Like, of course, I... I have shit on my pants, something like that, because I'm so fucking scared. Bruso, yo esto lo voy a hacer, pero lo voy a hacer a mi manera. Si lo haces a tu manera, no vas a llegar. Of course, afterwards, he decided to be in the trial and he says, Yo lo voy a hacer, I am going to do it, pero lo voy a hacer a mi manera, but I'm going to do it my way. If you already watched the movie, you probably heard a few times the word facho. Firmó una solicitada en contra del juicio. En serio, tan facho, eh? Como de facho. Re contra facho. Facho, te dije. Super, super facho. De facho, ¿qué quiere decir de facho? ¿Qué es eso? Facho is used as an insult, mainly for someone who is conservative uh, in the face of new ideas, because in his or her opinion, those ideas are coming to corrupt the society. Before starting the trial, someone says que esas mujeres se saquen los pañuelos blancos. Que esas mujeres se saquen los pañuelos blancos. Son las madres de Plaza de Mayo, doctor. No está permitido ningún símbolo político. Que esas mujeres, that those women, se saquen los pañuelos blancos, take off their head, their white head scarves. These women are madres de Plaza de Mayo, the mothers of Plaza de Mayo. When their children, sons, daughter, and also grandchildren started disappearing, they started to meet in this place in Plaza de Mayo. They started to make rounds around this uh, monument that does in the Plaza de Mayo. And to recognize uh, themselves with each other, they started using this head white scarves. Nowadays, madres y abuelas, mothers and uh, grandmothers are a strong organization that is super active. This is an organization for the human rights and they are still searching for the children and especially now the grandchildren that disappeared on that horrible period. We continue diving in Argentinian culture. At the end of the film, the prosecutor says that he wants to end the speech with a phrase that no longer 
um, belongs to him because belongs already to all the Argentinian people. Quiero utilizar una frase que no me pertenece porque pertenece ya a todo el pueblo argentino. Señores jueces, nunca más. Nunca más. Never again. This phrase is so strong. I mean, it's it's in our minds. It's in our... I grew up with this, even though I wasn't born in, in, the, in that period of time. This expression is still very strong and very used because we don't want this to happen again. Never again. Nunca más. 